Obesity or being overweight may cause a slew of health issues. Despite the many fad diets available, maintaining a healthy lifestyle and eating a nutritious diet are the keys to improved weight management. Obesity affected about 93.3 million people in the United States in 2015-2016, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC. This translates to 39.8% of the total population. Excess weight puts you at risk for severe health issues including heart disease, hypertension, and type 2 diabetes. Whatever benefits their proponents claim, crash diets are not a long-term answer. It is critical to adopt slow, lasting, and positive lifestyle adjustments in order to lose weight healthily and maintain that weight reduction over time. We provide 10 weight control suggestions in this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos in the future. Number 10. Stay positive. Weight reduction is a slow process, and if the pounds don't come off as quickly as expected, a person may get disheartened. When it comes to weight reduction or maintenance, some days will be more difficult than others. When self-change seems to be too tough, a successful weight loss program requires perseverance and not giving up. Some individuals may need to alter their objectives, such as the overall amount of calories they want to consume or their activity habits. The most essential thing is to have a good attitude and to work hard to overcome the obstacles to weight reduction achievement. Number 9. Seek social support. A successful weight reduction journey necessitates embracing the support of family and friends. Some individuals may want to invite friends or family members, while others may choose to discuss their progress via social media. A good social network, group or individual therapy, exercise groups or partners, workplace employee help programs. Number 8. Plan ahead. Weight reduction will be more substantial if you stock your kitchen with diet-friendly items and create organized meal plans. People who want to lose weight or keep it off should purge their kitchen of processed or junk foods and stock up on supplies for quick, healthy meals. This will help you avoid eating on the spur of the moment, without planning. Making meal selections ahead of time before attending social gatherings or dining establishments may also help make the process go more smoothly. Number 7. Stimulus and Cue Control. Many social and environmental signals may urge people to eat more than they need. While watching television, for example, some individuals are more prone to overeat. Others find it difficult to give a dish of sweets to another without having a bite. People may think of methods to modify their routine to minimize these triggers by being mindful of what could make them want to nibble on empty calories. Number 6. Eat mindfully. Many individuals benefit from mindful eating, which is being completely aware of why, how, when, where, and what they consume. Getting in touch with one's body leads to better eating choices. Mindful eaters also attempt to eat more slowly and enjoy their meals, focusing on the flavor. Allowing the body to detect all satiety signals by making a meal last 20 minutes. It's essential to remember that being content rather than full after a meal is the goal, and that many all-natural or low-fat meals aren't always healthy. People should think about the following questions while selecting a meal. Is the calorie cost a fair value? Is it going to make you feel full? Is it possible to eat the ingredients? How much fat and salt does it contain if it has a label? Number 5. Measure servings and control portions. Weight gain may occur when you consume too much of any meal, even low-calorie veggies. As a result, individuals should avoid guessing the amount of a portion or eating straight from the package. Measuring cups and serving size guidelines are preferable. Overestimating and consuming a larger-than-necessary amount are both possible outcomes of guessing. When eating out, the size comparisons below may help you keep track of your food intake, when the right tools aren't available, these sizes may assist a person control their food consumption. Number 4. Eliminate liquid calories. By consuming sugar-sweetened soda, tea, juice, or wine, you may ingest hundreds of calories each day. These are referred to as empty calories, since they give more energy without any nutritional advantages. Unless a smoothie is being consumed to substitute a meal, drink only water, unsweetened tea, or coffee. Flavor may be added to water by squeezing a fresh lemon or orange. Don't confuse hunger with dehydration. Between regular mealtimes, a sip of water may frequently satiate hunger. Number 3. Engage in regular physical activity and exercise. Both physical and mental health benefit from regular exercise. 
For weight reduction to be effective, increasing the frequency of physical exercise in a disciplined and intentional manner is frequently required. It is recommended to have one hour of moderate intensity exercise each day, such as brisk walking. If one hour each day isn't feasible, the Mayo Clinic recommends a weekly minimum of 150 minutes. People who are not normally active should gradually increase the quantity of exercise they perform and the intensity with which they exercise. This is the most long-term strategy for making regular exercise a habit. Keeping track of one's physical activity may be beneficial in the same way that keeping track of one's food may assist with weight reduction psychologically. If the prospect of a full workout intimidates someone who has never exercised before, they can start by doing the following activities to increase their exercise levels. Taking the stairs, walking a dog, gardening, dancing, playing outdoor games, parking farther away from a building entrance. Individuals with a minimal risk of coronary heart disease are unlikely to need medical evaluation before beginning an exercise program. Some individuals, such as those with diabetes, may benefit from a previous medical examination. Anyone who isn't sure how much exercise is safe should see a doctor. Number 2. Keep a food and weight diary. When it comes to reducing weight, self-monitoring is crucial. Every piece of food that people eat each day may be recorded using a paper diary, smartphone app, or dedicated website. They may track their improvement by keeping a weekly weight log. Those who can monitor their progress in tiny steps and see bodily improvements are much more likely to adhere to a weight loss plan. A BMI calculator may also be used to keep track of one's weight and height. Number 1. Eat varied, colorful, nutritionally dense foods. The basis of the human diet should be nutritious meals and snacks. Make sure each meal has 50% fruits and vegetables, 25% healthy grains, and 25% protein as an easy approach to establish a meal plan. 25 to 30 grams g, of total fiber per day is recommended. Remove trans fats from the diet and limit saturated fat consumption, which has been linked to an increased risk of coronary heart disease. Monounsaturated fatty acids, MUFA, and polyunsaturated fatty acids, PUFA, are two kinds of unsaturated fats that individuals may eat instead. Fresh fruits and vegetables, fish, legumes, nuts, and seeds, as well as whole grains like brown rice and oatmeal, are all healthy and frequently nutrient-dense foods. Avoid meals that include extra oils, butter, or sugar, as well as fatty red or processed meats, baked pastries, bagels, and white bread. When certain foods are removed from a person's diet, they may become deficient in vitamins and minerals. A nutritionist, dietitian, or other healthcare expert may help a person obtain adequate nutrients while on a weight loss plan. The top 10 weight loss strategies are now complete. I hope you find the video to be entertaining. If you enjoyed the video and would want to hear from us again, click the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos in the future.